My name is Dr. Sue Edinger. I'm a boarded veterinary cancer specialist, and I'm also known as Dr. Sue Cancer Vet. I'm really happy that you found this YouTube channel, but I'm also really sorry that you found this channel because it probably means that your dog or cat was recently diagnosed with cancer or that you or your veterinarian is suspicious that your pet has cancer. And I get it, guys. It is so overwhelming. It is so scary to be thinking about cancer in your pet, whether it's what test to do, how to treat it, and the cost of treatment. So I have so many videos and so many resources. So what this video is to kind of give you an overview. Now what? What to do? How to use this channel? And I have other resources on my Facebook page and my website. So I kind of want to give you an overview of some of the different playlists that I have and the ways that you can get the most out of this channel. There there are so many myths and misconceptions about pets and cancer and I'm going to break that down for you. We'll talk about the different treatment options and the different cancers. So let's figure out how you can get the most out of this channel and how I can answer these questions for you. So why am I here? It's a good question. A lot of my veterinary colleagues say, Dr. Sue, why are you on YouTube? Why do you have a Facebook channel? Why do you have an Instagram channel? And it's a good question because I do this really in my spare time, often when I get home from work and in the evenings. And the reason I'll do it, I'll be honest, is there's a lot of crap information on the internet about dogs and cats with cancer, often by people who aren't qualified or experienced to be giving this information. And it really frustrates me. So. I want to make sure that people have good information and that they have good access to this information. So that's why I'm here. And again, we're going to break down so you can find all this information on my different sites. And again, there are other sites as well, different universities. You know, you want to just make sure you're getting your information from reliable sources. And a great thing is to talk to your veterinarian for recommendations as well. And if you can, to see a specialist. And we'll put the link on how to see a specialist. And I have videos about what questions to ask a specialist before you go and how to prepare for that important appointment. One thing that I'm not going to be able to do, so please don't do it, and I mean this, you know, nicely, is I don't do individual consultations on the internet. So that means if you find my website and email me or comment below on a video asking for individual recommendations or specific recommendations about your dog or cat, um, direct messages on Facebook and Instagram. I do not do individual consultations. I cannot provide medical advice for your individual dog or cat because I haven't seen them in person. I haven't examined them. So I get a ton of requests for medical advice and I can't do it. And it also is really hurtful and at times I thought about stopping doing this because some of the comments are pretty mean that I don't love dogs and cats. I don't, you know, love animals. I don't really care. Um, I obviously don't love what I do. Um, I've had people call me curse words and things like that. So it's not because I don't care. It's one, the volume of messages that I get and that I also have to take care of my family and me and just balance everything that I need to do. But it's also, I can't provide the right recommendations for your pet because I haven't examined them. I don't have access to their medical records. So please do not ask me to give personal medical advice to your pet on any of these channels, okay? So let's get that out of the way. I don't do individual consultations for you or your pet, even if you offer to pay me. That's not the point. It's not about free advice or paid medical advice. So you need to go and see your veterinarian and ideally see a specialist. And again, we'll put links below on how to do that. I do want to hear from you. I absolutely want to hear from you. So please feel free to comment below and tell me what you like about videos or just, you know, I want to engage with you and interact. So please comment below on my videos. I do check all the comments myself. Some days I'll get back to you quickly and some days I won't. And sometimes it'll be someone from my team. So please, yes, definitely comment, interact. Just realize that I can't give you medical advice, but I want to hear from you. I want to know what's going on about your pets and I want to know what's helpful because you know what do you, what do you want the next video to be about comment below that's the whole point of this I need to hear from you I need to know what your questions are what your concerns are because that helps me help you 
So the first playlist that you're gonna find when you get to my YouTube channel is called Everything You Need to Know About Cancer. And in this playlist, I put to me some of the most important videos. The first video that you're gonna find is How to Detect Cancer Earlier, and this is about doing a monthly lump and bump exam. And this is just one of my passion projects is early cancer detection for lumps and bumps. And so you'll see my tip about when you're doing heartworm and flea and tick preventative once a month, that's a great time on your calendar to remember to check your dogs and cats for lumps and bumps. There are some great videos about how to pill a dog, you know, ways, just some tips and tricks on what to do when your dog, you know, won't take it in different foods and some maybe foods that you hadn't thought of tips and tricks to do when your pet won't eat. And some of these are medications that you can get from your veterinarian. And some of these are just things that you can do at home, you know, things that you have in the kitchen to get your pets eating. And what I love is some of them were tips from you guys. Uh, I call them things that I didn't learn in vet school. And so there's a lot of great tips in there what to do when your pet won't eat because it's really stressful when our pets won't eat. I talk about what's the best time to spay or neuter our dog. There's some really interesting newer information that shows the benefits uh, for dogs in delaying spay and neutering and that there could be a protective benefit in some cancers. Things that you need to know about chemotherapy. So home safety with chemotherapy, you'll find that in that playlist as well. And there are other videos about where are my dog's lymph nodes, which are really important for monitoring for lymphoma. How do we do lymph node aspirates? So just, you know, some other videos there as well. And what does chemotherapy involve? So I have a separate chemotherapy playlist as well. You will find some videos in multiple playlists, but again, just a really good overview. And I think that's a really good place to start if you have just come to the YouTube channel. Okay, my next playlist is all my vlogs. And guys, this is just, you know, all my vlogs from the very start that I've been doing it. And so just this in order of everything, and you can go through and just look at the different titles and see what interests you. Some of these will be my days in the clinic and the different hospitals that I work, and they're titled so you can see what tumors I'm seeing, the fabulous nurses, the technicians that I work with, whether it's dogs getting chemo, getting x-rays, you can just see what it's like the day in the life of an oncologist, a nurse, um, and the patients coming in and out. You'll see how much love they get and what it's like behind the doors. You know, when your pet goes behind those doors for treatment, you can see what goes on. So lots of videos if you're interested in seeing in that. And then below that, you'll find some other playlists. The next playlist, I think is really important and this is a chemotherapy playlist so again it has the video that I talked about before about chemotherapy safety but also the myths and misconceptions about chemotherapy and there are a ton of them so this to me is one of my most important videos and we're gonna break down those myths and misconceptions another important video are my top five medications that you should have on hand at home if your pet is going through chemotherapy so these are medications that your veterinarian can prescribe for you. All of my patients go home with these in their goodie bags. So that is a great video and just other videos about what does chemotherapy involve. Because again, it's scary to imagine what, you know, most of us, the only thing that we know is humans going through chemotherapy. So again, this was just a good video. You can see lots of my patients, Maya, Pokey, going through their different chemotherapy treatments and you can check that out there. The next set of playlists are broken down by different tumors. So we have a playlist for dog lymphoma, playlist for mast cell tumors. We have a playlist for osteosarcoma in dogs, lymphoma in cats as well. And so you can just, if your pet has one of those tumors, you can find the playlist, look at the different videos in there, watch them all, watch one of them, see what you want. The other playlist that I think is a good one to check out is all about lumps and bumps and aspirates. So you can see what an aspirate entails, how easy it is uh, for your pet to get this aspirate where we stick a needle in the mask, collect those cells and look at them under the microscope. So lots of videos about dogs and cats getting aspirates, um, what's that entail, also lymph node aspirates as well. So maybe you're saying, but my pet has a different tumor and that's not included in that. So you can go through the vlogs and you can look at the different playlists there and see if your pet's tumor is there. But again, just a lot of good information that covers the basics of dog and cat cancer and I hope that you will find this helpful. 
So in addition to my YouTube channel, I have a couple of other sites that I want to point out to you that I think that you will find helpful. One of them is my website, drsuecancervet.com. And what is nice about this channel is you can see all the different things that I'm up to. If you're interested, you can see where I'm speaking, the different places that I've spoken. You can check out me speaking uh, if that interests you. But really, as a pet owner, I think that you are going to be most interested. You can sign up for my newsletter. That would be great. Uh, but you are going to want to go to the resources tabs. You can get a link to my book, The Dog Cancer Survival Guide. You can download my skin maps, which are great for keeping track of those lumps and bumps. Again, in vlog 73, I talk about how to use those skin maps uh, with calipers or a measuring device to keep track of those lumps and bumps. And then the other area of interest in the resources section is the pet owner resources. And in there, we have different PDFs that you can print out about chemotherapy. So I have my recently updated uh, frequently asked question about chemotherapy in pets. I have a second handout. These are the information sheets, guys, that I give out at my consultation appointments with my clients when they come to meet me in person. So I'm making them available for you that you can download and, and read them at home and have them at home. So again, we have my chemotherapy information sheet, and then the next one is helping a pet through chemotherapy at home. And this deals with all of the different side effects that we see and what to do at home. So what to do if your pet won't eat, what to do if your pet is vomiting, what to do if your pet has diarrhea, and some of the home safety chemotherapy, which also is a great supplement to the video that we just talked about that's in the two playlists, in the chemotherapy playlist, and also in the everything that you need to know about playlist in YouTube as well. I also have an information sheet about metronomic chemotherapy, which is low dose oral chemotherapy. So that is there as well. And then also on this resource page as well, there is a link to my book, The Dog Cancer Survival Guide. A couple other just quick things on my website. Uh, it does have a link to my current hospital where I'm working, so you can find that on the About site. You can, if you are interested in seeing me in person, you can go to the About site and you can click on that and that will take you to the website of the hospital that I am currently working at. If you are interested in getting some calipers so you can measure lumps and bumps, so whether you're a veterinarian or a pet owner, we have all different types of calipers. We have caliper pens, so these are pens with calipers on them that uh, those are available we have plastic calipers and then digital calipers as well and those are available on the website and again you can just keep track of my latest news where am I I'm usually traveling somewhere in the United States and occasionally overseas so you can keep track of my whereabouts as well on my website Another really great resource for you is my Facebook page. And so on my Facebook page, I will try to share about, you know, usually once a day, one of the patients that I'm, I'm seeing in the clinics. And so I'll tell you about what I'm seeing, what we're doing with them in terms of their cancer. Are we celebrating a milestone? Are they there? What chemo are they getting? So it's just a good way to see what's going on. You know, what I'm currently doing in the clinics, uh, we love to celebrate milestones, so when cancer's in remission, one year anniversaries, and things like that, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna tell you when a patient has relapsed. So it's just really a, a nice way to see what's going on with me and my patients. Uh, we'll also often do different infographics about different tumors. So sometimes we'll have a themed month where every couple of days you'll get information about lymphoma, osteosarcoma, mast cell tumors. So you can follow along and get all different information about the tumors, what breeds we see it in, how we treat it, what tests we run, what the prognosis is, and things like that. So that's another great resource that you can find. And then usually once a month I do live Q and A's on Facebook and that's a great opportunity for you to hop on ask questions and I will answer as many questions that I can usually in an hour and we will advertise those or you know promote those so you'll know when you're hap they're happening if you um, sub subscribe to them tell them that you're coming in the thing you'll get a notification when we do that so again we do that about once a month we have live Q and A's where you can ask questions we usually will do them on a theme just so the information isn't all over the place so we'll do one about dog lymphoma then we'll do one about osteosarcoma sarcoma, we'll do one about mast cell tumors. And then when those are done, 
They do replay on Facebook, but sometimes they're hard to find, so we will then put them on YouTube. So if you go to the YouTube playlist for Dr. Sue Q&A, you can find all of the ones on dog lymphoma, and you can listen to them. So if your pet has that tumor, you know, often the questions are really common ones, and you can listen to them and often find them helpful. We'll talk about supplements, diagnostics, prognosis, and things like that. So definitely check out the monthly Q&As. You can catch them live, but if you're looking for old ones, you can find them on YouTube as well. And then Instagram. I love Instagram, so much fun. So in the feed, again, I'll be sharing the stories of my patients, what's going on with them, what treatments we're using, just information that will hopefully help you help your dog or cat with cancer. And then I love stories, and so those are fun. You can actually see what's going on in the clinic. Uh, sometimes you'll see things that are going on with me and my puppy dogs at home or my family on the weekend. So that you'll get a little bit more personal side of what's going on in my life, what I'm doing. But Instagram, you'll get, again, just a little bit different information. So all of the different sites sort of complement each other. Sometimes they overlap. I hope that you, you know, pick the site that you like. I hope that this information will be useful for you. Again, for me, it's about helping you help your pet with cancer. Again, I'm so sorry that you're dealing with this. I know that this is overwhelming. I want to provide good information. That's why I'm here. If, this, if you're finding this helpful, please subscribe, please comment, please share the information. Thank you for being here and I hope that you'll find it helpful.